Welcome back, Hunters. I'm the Survival Abyss, and we return to Way of the Hunter, where I have to say, I'm quite impressed with the game from the first exposure of just last episode. I decided to try using the NVIDIA GeForce Experience to optimize the settings. It seems like it's actually recording with better settings than I had before, so hopefully it'll hold through. Maybe it's just because the first time launching, it was a few things there. But yeah, now we're going to try a bit of deer hunting. So for that, we've got to use the shop here. Nope. Oh, the disease is spreading. Email by another person hospitalized under suspicious conditions after consuming mule deer meat. Send to spread the word. Sender Walsh Elliot. Uh, forward disease spreading. Robert, please don't tell me you're visiting that conspiratorial website too. Disease isn't real. There's been no medical evidence proving it exists. There is evidence. Garmin's just choosing not to show it to us. Okay, so... There might be a bit of story to unravel here. Apparently... There's an idea that the mule deers are carrying some kind of disease that you might get from the meat. Oh, and Richard Knox. Don't contact my son. Real Hobby devastated my wife, and I don't want to see the same thing happen to my son. He has his own life career in L.A. He's only helping me out pity and the emotional bat. Don't bother him with your business or connect. Hey, that's pretty odd there. But, okay, so we're... Yeah, so we need to pick up the Remington 738. And this is kind of a nice preview of all the weapons in the game so far. So there's a fair selection of rifles actually to go through. The Remington 783, the Steyr Pro Hunter 2, the Steyr Pro Hunter just classic, I guess, the Steyr Scout. Um, 223, 243, okay. The Steyr Monoblock. I think they went in pretty well with uh, with uh, Steyr for, like, a lot of the stuff there. But let's just get that. Remington 783. Uh, I don't know if we need to get... Ooh, elk collar. They have a roe deer collar, which might mean there is... And red... So there is, like, Europe that probably is an option as well. Because I'm pretty sure this is North America here. Considering we have, like, the whitetail mule deer, I don't know if we'd really have that... Uh, in Europe. Like, I don't think those species are really over there in, like, fair enough amounts to, like, have done that. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. And, oh. oh. Okay, so there's Transylvania is a place you go hunting and passes in that for that. Interesting. Oh, then you can even change off the, I guess, choose different vehicle in a way. Sleep, storage... Okay, so you know what? Let's equip that. And we can equip the same scope with it. I shouldn't use this bad boy for more than 100 meters. Okay, yeah. And then ethical hunting in that. God, I gotta say, I am quite impressed with uh, everything the game has. In... Oh, hang on a moment. Is there a way to call the vehicle back to here? I kind of just remembered that with the fast travel thing. Uh, it looks like it might have come back. So I think if you do need to bring the vehicle back from way out, yeah, you can just go and do that. Okay, and there, oh, there's actually something beside the target range that maybe we'll drive off and see too. But yeah, I'm going to probably keep my face stuck up in the top left corner. I know I'm going to be hiding the uh, goal there, or like our objective. But I think that's just like the best place to really sit ourselves. Or put my face in, so that way all the tracking information appears properly in the top right. Because, yeah, I have to... It's nice to have all this information presented so clearly and well evidently. And the range was just down here. And, yeah. So far, the settings have been pretty good for uh, the video or that, but you guys comment and let me know if there's things like maybe the head bob bothers you a bit or the like. I can always see about adjusting and changing some more things to make it a little bit better for everyone. Okay, so whatever is over here, is there a way to... Ah, there we go. Yeah, so you can just put your own little uh, markers wherever you want, really. Oh, 
Oh, you can hide what you have pulled out. You just have to press the same equip slot again. Okay, so what's supposed to be right over here? Oh, a hunting stand. Now we can always... Oh, actually, yeah, we can crawl... Climb our way right up, and then use binoculars to see what those are out there. Up and up we go. Did I forget to... Okay, ah, uh, character. Oh no, it's four. Okay, I thought for a second I forgot to pull out binoculars, but... Yeah, so you get to see all kinds of information, like the trophy score of the animal, the age, their behavior. God, this is a lot of good information to have all together here. And then the binoculars have the built-in rangefinder to them, so you don't have to worry about like trying to pick that up. It's pretty nice to see. Okay, so map-wise... Uh, it looks like there's a bit of a road I can just keep following down out, and that'll get me to this area here. Oh, there we go. And then, yeah, you can place your own markers pretty easily and reliably. Got it. Way at the Hunter, it is going to be pretty nice. We'll see how it keeps going. And we'll just put, uh, pull the rifle out, make sure. Now I wonder, it does say I have like uh, 30 rounds of ammo, but I don't know if there was actually a place to buy more. I'll have to check next time I'm at the shop how that works. Is it every time you stop at a place you restock or you have to buy more ammo with like more time? Well, let's just follow along and get down to the grassland area that's mentioned. Okay, well, one thing that's quite a bit different is they look like they are wanting to make the area. I when I couldn't tell the difference between a white-tailed deer and a mule deer, grandpa used to tease me about it. They definitely made the area just overloaded with wildlife a bit, like coming off of like the hunter. Let's see if I haven't forgotten all those hunting lessons from grandpa. Okay, alarmed animals. You've spooked the animals, they've run away to gather outside the need zone, need to co time calm down. You can always fast forward time by sleeping in the lodge for them. Oh, I sound analysis, so that's what that is. So as like the animals call out, with the hunter sense active, you can actually kind of like see what sounds. Now, how do I... Oh, hang on. Red fox tracks. Okay. There we go. Yeah, so they might be a little hard to see through all the grass and that, but I do have to admit, I think I prefer... That track a lot more. So that's a two-star... That's a two star. You're only a one star. No, oh, American Badger out there somewhere. Oh, and there is a Badger barrel right there. So I, with the amount of wildlife there is, I'm kind of feeling this is going to be have that arcade hunting sort of feel with there. Oh, lord, I don't know what was going on with the uh, frame rate there. I just kind of looked over and saw that dip. So yeah, I will have to still... tweak some settings. 
I think this is going to have like more arcade hunter for the amount of animals and wildlife, but there's also going to be some depth and systems that do bring it out to also have like realistic and deeper hunting mechanics to it. Okay, well, I found the mule deer I'd like to take. I don't think it's going to stop and give me an opening for it. <laughs> One thing though, it is a little hard to know when the hunter sense is active and when it's not. Like it almost seems to like flicker in and out rather than being fully on at times. Like if I hit it then, it doesn't seem like there's a response from it. Oh, you have to be standing still for it to be active. That's why I was having the troubles I was, okay. Actually, you know what? I should take a look and see. Uh, key binding. Is there a way to, like... Yeah, I know there's jump. Okay, so if I want to slow down, control will do that. And if I hold C, that'll let me go prone. Okay. Yeah, I like that there's also a slower walk, too. So we'll get up here and just kind of glass around and see. I don't know if the deer probably all ran off because they picked me up from uh, trying to move as I was. Oh, but you can actually see... Uh, the trailway, although is it lighting up in reverse of the direction? No, no, I, maybe it's two different ones, because, yeah, that one looks like it goes off that way, but then that one goes to that way. Okay, so that's where they all went off to. They just kind of decided to migrate further up the river there. I don't know if they'd come back or not, but I think they're too far out of range for me to be able to like start getting information out of them. So let's head our way down and see if I can get a little closer on foot. And wind... Oh, that might be another reason why... Well, possibly picked me up, though the wind direction isn't really blowing to where they were. But yeah, I have to say I am... A far, far bigger improvement than, or a big improvement over what Hunting Simulator 2 was. We'll have to give it a little bit more time and feel to see if it will rival the Hunter or not. There are some things I think do it does better than the Hunter, but there might be some things where the Hunter does do better than uh, Way of the Hunter. So I don't know if I really have to be this low, but I think... Oh, whitetail tracks. Oh, and we even have dropping... Oh! Something up there. Is that just a badger? No, that's a red fox. Oh, 
Okay, dried out. So that's... Now that's probably where I'd want to go into the, uh... Encyclopedia to see. Like, I guess dried out might be it's so old that... There's no way to tell the time or, like, how long it's been. And yeah, some... I do see a few, like, stutters and a little slowness in the recording at times. It's going to have to work that out a bit more. Going to... You know what, this might be... Decent enough time to try figuring that out a bit. Okay, view distance. I'm going to set down to high. Shadows can stay medium. Uh, Anti-aliasing. I guess I'll try keeping that like that and see. A little smoother. It's one of those things I'm going to keep playing around with a little more till I can find the sweet spot. I just want to check, was the reason why the foliage went so bad, though, because of the, uh, anti-aliasing? Yeah, I think that is why it went so bad. Okay, so that's one thing I'll probably want to keep to where that was. And we'll try this for a little bit and see. Yeah, so the wind is blowing directly to my left. It shouldn't blow anywhere towards the deer, so I can probably stay low and hopefully get into a spot where I can try taking one. Oh, maybe still a little out of range to be able to get the info on them. Do got some tracks here. Uh, American Badger went by. Yeah, I think I'm far enough off they won't really care about me too much. We are across the river, we're kind of kept low. I know it... I think ethical-wise, they didn't really want me going over 100 meters for the shot, so I might have to try getting even closer. I'm just going to take a look around because of all the sounds I keep hearing. I think some of them might just be, like, animal ambience tossed in. But there are also sound bits you can, like, pick up and... Uh, make use of. Yeah, see, they're about... Oh! Okay, so now I can get some information on the deer here. Let's see if I can crawl forward a bit more. And see. Okay, so that's... Oh. Actually, I think that's the one I've been wanting to get. <laughs> yeah, so then there's sound analysis, I guess... Behavior spooked, and you kind of get more information with that. Okay. So now we should be able to just walk right across the river and pick up the trail of where that hit was on them. I think it was enough back that it's going to be a lung shot. 
but I might have been a little forward with it. We'll head over and investigate and see. And I can cross the water, right? Indeed I can. Okay, I don't have to worry about uh, the hunter kind of being very fidgety with whether you can actually do anything with the water or not. Oh, here we are. Pink, medium amount of blood, air bubbles. So, oh, time to expire is going to be slow. See, I thought because of the air bubbles that would mean it was like a uh, lung shot. Maybe not. Distance before expiration is 0 to 50 meters, so... It still might have gone down somewhere nearby. It's just that I don't see any tracks like coming off of this. Like it hit him here and I thought he kind of went along this way. Oh, here we go. Purity's air bubbles. Okay, it's going to take a little while to get used to this track, but I think this is going to be a more realistic version of it. Like, there's tracks here. Uh, white tail. Here we are. I can't remember if this is the same one I just found before or not, but it doesn't look like it really, like, has made a trail through the grass. Oh, maybe it has. Here we go. So this is the last mark left here. There we go. Oh, and it came down and circled around? This is a little odd. I wasn't expecting to do like a loop around like this. But uh, wait a minute, maybe I'm on the reverse end of what happened. Oh, okay, it went this way around. I I didn't see any like footprints. Ah, that's why I was so messed up. I was going backwards on its track. Okay. Actually, even without the Hunter Sense active, you can kind of see the way it's leading off, too. Here we go. Okay, we're on the trail. On the trail proper. Yeah, this is the track style I'm going to like more, where it does feel like you're actually following right along with the line of tracks and things left behind. Oh, yeah, I think it's still going this way. Oh, there you are. Although, it almost looked like it loaded in and dropped for a moment there. Oh, 
But here you are. Okay, let's analyze you and see. Okay, so... Yeah, it did get through the lungs, but it looks like... They actually do have, like, all the ribs modeled, which is... Really interesting to see. So it looks like the expansion... ...was mostly in the shoulder before reaching the lungs. Looks like you can see the bigger cone there. It did go through and deal... ...lethal amount there. And, ooh, that actually sells for a good amount. So hunt rating, 5 star, difficulty adventure, trophy rating, 4 out of 5. Uh, in the meat info, how much was lost because of the shot damage around it. Yeah, so I'm going to sell that. We've learned basics of hunting. Now all shop items, multiplayer mode, available territories accessible. Wow. Okay, so. General Sows Pheasant. Accept the new restaurant order from your grandfather's computer in the lodge. Okay. So, restaurant orders. The Bear Den Ranch, owned by your grandfather, supplies ethically hunted meat to high-end restaurants. Both your grandfather hospitalized, you are now responsible for it. You will receive the restaurant orders while you progress the story. You can access them via the email client on the computer. Complete them. Simply harvest animals necessary for each order. Meat will automatically receive government inspection. Delivered to the client. All you have to do is harvest it. Your life hunting trivia. Wild game for your own consumption or give to friends on occasion is completely legal. However, selling the meat is not that simple. There are different regulations in every country. Game meat sold to the public must generally pass food law requirements and food hygiene requirements. Usually game meat has to be processed in a certified inspected facility as well. Okay. I see you out there. You're not that good of a looker. Uh, but you might be the best one here, but... Yeah, I think they picked me up by scent. So we'll try taking down another one. So I think that's our wounded one right there, hopping off. Getting some more distance than I thought he would. Or, or maybe that's ours there. Okay, no, that's probably ours right there. Yeah. Now, I do gotta admit, I've gotta get a little used to all the different key binds, because there's... Uh, control is your walk speed, where... Oh, actually, can we cross here? Yeah, it's going to let us. Gotta admit, that's a lot nicer than how the Hunter Classic was, where if it's too deep, you basically are stuck at hitting invisible walls till you figure out where the sweet spot is. But we'll go harvest that, and then make our way for the vehicle, and maybe drive back to the lodge. And yeah, I... The game is a little weird for when it wants to hit, like, these stutter things or not. It's almost like it has to load the next area. Either that or maybe it doesn't apply the graphics. No. Well, there are pheasants. But the way I prop the way I'm seeing the way of the hunter is take the hunter called wild, up the animal amounts, and you kind of have what way the hunter is. Now, see, no, I don't think this is ethical for taking out a pheasant. <laughs> so we'll just leave it for now and then keep going with, like, uh, story or stuff like that. But I do like, if you're watching through binoculars from a distance, you can put down a marker exactly where you're looking. I know the hunter does kind of have that, but being able to see the waypoint in the world is helpful. And we can see here... Ooh, it looks like it went right through a rib. Yeah. And I think I lost a lot of its power in the rib there. But you can follow the path of the bullet for how your trajectory is. Really gives you a good idea of placement for, like, if you're trying for a heart shot, too. So I might even try going for those more often in this game, because now I have a much better idea of 
it's proper placement. Yeah, trophy rating is pretty small, but I think that's because of uh, just kind of the way the rack was. Although one thing I'm kind of surprised at is for as much as you can move this around, take a good look at the animal, it doesn't seem like you get those options in like the overview of it or the hunt stuff. Well, we'll just sell that. Nice bit more funds. Turn off Hunter Sense. And... Work our way back up to the vehicle. And all we have to do is follow the road and we'll hit it. So I'm just going to... Yeah, probably just discover this hunting stand. And maybe I'll even fast travel. Just because we actually have hit the time for another episode. Like, I'm... Between... Call of the Wild, the Angler, and Way of the Hunter here, I'm losing track of how easy it is to put time into the videos and just all of a sudden, oh crap, it's the half hour mark that I usually hit. But yeah, I am quite pleasantly impressed and surprised by Way of the Hunter. I was a little worried because of how the scene reviews were, but I think it was mostly down to, again, there was just a few issues when it came to uh, its first release, but now it's been patched and that... Easily seeing, like, the game has so much to offer. Yeah, so I'll just fast travel to, uh, back to the ranch here. And then we will see about tackling this other stuff in the next episode. But I do think we're going to be here with the game for a while. I still need to try to figure out a little bit of the quirks of the graphics to fit with the recordings being smooth. But, yeah, I'm enjoying my time. I hope you guys are also kind of getting an idea of, wow, there's a lot more here than I initially thought. We'll just keep playing along, see how it goes, and hopefully you guys join us for even more episodes and videos on it. But for this one, we are ending things here. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode of The Way of the Hunter. If you did like the video, be sure to give it a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to leave in the comments right down below. Until I do see you in the next video or episode, Hunters and Survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.